I think a lot of people have said, I remember Lou Holtz saying it, that I don't care how much you know until I know how much you care. And I'm not going to decide if I can follow you until I can decide if I can trust you. You have to be prepared for the opportunities that are available to you. And you never know where they're coming from. He really nailed it. He spoke about two, he gave two sessions, two separate ones, one on leadership and one on trust. Hi, I'm John DiNapoli. I'm a retired Brigadier General from the U.S. Army. And about four years ago, started a consulting firm focusing on leadership training, development, executive coaching, and some keynote speaking. I do that because I have a passion about leadership. I've seen good leaders and I've learned a lot. And as I'm sure you can all attest, I've seen bad leaders and maybe I've learned more from them. It is great to hear theories on leadership, but it is really valuable when you can hear somebody share their actual experience. The instructor pilot who's sitting next to you, I don't know how he stops from chuckling, says, I have the controls. He takes the controls and within a nanosecond, everything stops moving and he just goes back to a three foot hover, says you have the controls. They torture you like this for about 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, a lot of people tell stories and they have actually no impact and no place in the presentation. His stories hit home and they work. When you start working on change of any kind, it's hard. The real difference I bring as a speaker is I've had extensive experience in the military. I've led at almost every level. I also have experience in the corporate world. Everybody raise their hand as high as they can. All right, raise it a little bit higher. Okay, how come you didn't do that the first time? I said as high as you can. And that difference between compliance and commitment could be the difference between success and failure. People follow those that they trust and believe in. But sometimes, you can put so much pressure on that, that it's gone. You can destroy it. And trust can be like that. When audiences are engaged and interested, they will act on one or two pieces of information. They might be really big hits. That comes from trust. People are not gonna take those chances if you've made it clear that they're not allowed to fail. I always challenge audience members to take away one or two pearls. Covey says there are two things you need to have trust. You need to have character. So I need to know that what you're doing is in my best interest. But that's not enough. You also have to have competence. But he talked about life and limb and bringing that leadership aspect and using the tools to gain trust in people, to gain confidence in people, and be a great leader, I think that's a dynamic skill that a lot of people don't have. So you have to model the way for people. If you want them to trust you, you have to show them what's important. <laughs>